What personality type are you? What motivates your behavior? Discover the answers to these fascinating questions on Types, Your Personality Revealed. Hosted by personality experts Catherine and David Favre. Okay, Enneagram Type 6 is also in the head center. This is the loyal guardian, we sometimes called the loyal skeptic. But this type is kind of interesting because there are two expressions of it. But overall, the six wants to fit in, be safe, secure, and know what to expect. They want predictability. And the fear is of uncertainty and being blamed. What do you feel it's like to be a six if you have a fear of being blamed? Well, I, my understanding with the six is they want to make sure that their security comes through belonging to a group. That group can be a family or a group of friends. So obviously, if you get in trouble, uh, you might not be in the group anymore. So if that's how you feel secure in life, it's really important to make sure that you have um, loyalty and, and that you're dutiful to the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the most dutiful type on the Enneagram, isn't it? There's a lot of anxiety, though, but there's both a phobic and counterphobic expression of six. Can you tell us about the difference between the two? Sure. There's a fascinating issue with sixes is that they're very unpredictable. And uh, the phobic six will tend to move away from something that they fear, whereas the counterphobic six will actually go towards what they fear. So if they feel afraid of something, they may actually sort of go into the fear and, and, and go ahead and approach it. Um, a couple of famous sixes, uh, John Stewart in The Daily Show, uh, Julia Roberts, and yeah. uh, David Letterman. The boy is or a, girl next door. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's a, it's a type that is kind of confusing because of, the, of these different expressions. But let's look at the tape. Yes, is there anything more that we need to cover with that? Let's take a look at a video of an Enneagram Type 6. Hi, well, I'm David. I'm right here from Palo Alto. My type is Type 6 on the Enneagram, the loyal skeptic, and my lead instinct is type is the one-to-one, -one, you know, about relationships. I'm warm and friendly to people. I feel like if I can be warm and friendly to people, they'll be warm and friendly back. It increases my likelihood that they can be trusted. And then the second thing is uh, I can be really counted upon. I'm pretty loyal. And then I'm a good problem solver. I can see what can go wrong and be pretty analytical about things. And then I believe I can be thoughtful. On the negative side is I can get overly doubtful of people and mistrust them because I can always see something you can't count on. So I'm good at seeing underdog causes, what can go wrong in the world, and trying to, because you can see, you can doubt, you know, where things are going. And so that, I think that's my greatest strength, taking on challenges and making things work out. Well, I think there's two kinds of things six, uh, sixes do. One is this more sort of counterphobic where you take on the challenge. If you can meet the challenge, that brings you security for a while, brings you a sense of certainty. And the other way is to avoid things, and I can do some of that too. If it's scary, you avoid it, and then you can feel at least safe temporarily. I think the biggest part is the, is the doubting mind itself. Uh, if you're looking for what can go wrong, you can always find something. I mean, it's just the way it is. So it's helped me, you know, switch from doubt to more sense of trust, from mistrusting things to trust, and from that doubt to more faith in myself and other people and all the positives that can happen made a huge difference. So here we hear this six talk about wanting to go from uh, doubt to trust. Yes. And so what is that mm -hmm. journey like for the six? It's, it's everything, and it's one of the hardest things to do, because if you feel anxiety or you feel threatened, you want to check it out, and you look for worst-case scenarios. But as you become more comfortable with your own experience, then you can start to hold that steady and be predictable yourself, the very thing that sixes want themselves, predictability. I noticed to use the word scary. Is that a word that sixes yeah. use a lot? Yeah, and the eyes. The thing that you'll notice most of all with the eyes is there's a scanning. They tend to look and, and observe, not unlike the five, but it's faster and more obvious, and that's uh -huh. just tracking things. Yeah, I find that sixes, there's a very fine line for them between fear and excitement. Yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, yes. 